Guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Over the years, whenever I've taught Lightroom, Photoshop, or anything, whenever it came to pixels per inch or dots per inch, that's PPI or DPI, uh, I've often said that if you're going to display the image on the screen, use 72 PPI or DPI. And if you're going to print it, use 300 DPI or PPI. And then more recently, I've mentioned if you're printing to an Epson printer, use 360 PPI or DPI. Well, many people um, over the last maybe year or two have emailed me and told me that's wrong. And they've pointed me to various articles explaining why that's wrong. And technically, I guess it is wrong, but I wanted to do this video where I'm going to try to explain it a little better and explain how I'm changing the way I'm uh, teaching it going forward. Now I have this image here. I have it cropped to eight and a half by 11. And let's say I'm going to export it. So I'm going to bring up the export dialog box in Lightroom. Now I'm using Lightroom, but DPI and PPI is universal. So it applies to any application you're using. So for this one, um, I'm going to give it a file name not resized. All right, so we're not going to resize it. And we're going to export this at um, 300 pixels per inch. So I'm going to change the start number to 300, just so we know that this is the one that's 300 pixels per inch. We're going to do JPEG, sRGB, quality 100. And I mentioned uh, it's 300 pixels per inch. And we're not going to resize this. So it's going to be the full uh, resolution, whatever I crop this to. All right. And we're going to send it to the desktop. So we're going to export that. Okay. So it's going to take its sweet little time and export. Now we're going to do a second export. So in this second export, what we're going to do is keep it not resized, but we're going to change the pixels per inch to one pixel per inch. So I'm going to change the start number to one. Now, those of you that know where I'm going with this and you're about to turn off the video, don't because I'm going to add a twist to it that you'll be interested in seeing. All right, so I'm changing the resolution to one pixel per inch and I'm not resizing it though. It's going to keep the same uh, length and width, um, original length and width that I have a crop to. All right, so we're gonna export that. All right, so we, we exported the image twice, once at 300 pixels per inch and it wasn't resized, and the second time at one pixel per inch and it wasn't resized and it's taking its sweet time exporting. There we go. All right, so we have these two images right here, right? So we're gonna open them both up and you're gonna notice that they look identical. 300 pixels per inch, one pixel per inch and they look identical and if I just look at the information on these images here let's bring these more in the middle all right this one is 300 pixels per inch and you could see that it's 26.3 megabytes in size the one that is one pixel per inch is 26.3 megabytes in size if you go down to the dimensions uh the one that's 300 pixels per inch is 7380 by 5703 and the one pixel per inch is identical so they're identical to one another in every way, even though I exported them at different pixels per inches. And I'm not going to take the time, but if you open these up, let's say in Photoshop, it, they'll look identical there too. And then you bring up file information in Photoshop where you could look at the pixels per inch. It'll show one is 300, one is one. And the reason they look identical is because that PPI is really just a tag that gets attached to the image to designate uh, to a printer what the suggested pin, uh, DPI on the printer will become uh, when you convert from the PPI to the DPI to the printer. So it's, it's just a tag. It's, it's almost like a keyword, although it's not a keyword, it, but, but it's that idea where it's just something that's in the metadata and it really doesn't affect the actual uh, the pixels actually of the image. All right, so that's that. Let's try something else. Let's export it. And this time we're going to resize it 
and we're going to resize it with pixels to pixels. And you'll see where I'm going with this in the minute. And we'll do the 300 first. No, you know what? Let's just do the one pixel uh, first. So we're going to go down here and we're going to resize it. And let's do 1080 pixels. That's something, let's say, we're going to show it on Instagram, right? And we're going to do a resolution of one pixel per inch. And I'm going to export it, all right? So when that exports, we'll take a look at this one. And what you'll find is this one's going to still look identical. So we'll open that up and it looks identical. There's nothing different. It's just resized to 1080, uh, as opposed to the other ones weren't resized at, or, at all. So here's the not resized 300 pixels per inch. Here's the not resized one pixel per inch. And here's the resized to 1080. And you can see it's resized, but it looks good. It's still one pixel per inch, right? Okay, now here's the twist you've been waiting for. Let's go back to Lightroom. Let's bring up the export dialog. Let's resize this one again, except this time, instead of using pixels, we're gonna resize it to inches. And let's do dimensions, uh, just because it's easier for me to type it in. We're gonna go 11 by nine. I cropped this to eight and a half by 11, but I can't, I don't know if I could put 8.5 in here. I don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. So it's eight and a half by 11 because that's what I cropped this to. We're going to keep it at one pixel per inch. And we're going to go up here and we're going to write resized two inches. Okay. So same settings, everything else. It's just resized to eight and a half by 11 inches with a resolution of one pixel. All right. Now we'll export that. And we'll minimize that. And this is the one that's resized to one pixel. Whoa, where is it? It's pretty small, isn't it? Well, let's zoom in. And that's as far as I could zoom in. That's one pixel per inch. And it actually is one pixel per inch. So when I resize it using inches instead of pixels, then that one pixel per inch actually gets applied to the image. It's no longer just a tag on the image. It's actually applied to the image. If you're resizing in pixels and you put something lower than what the actual pixel resolution you're going for, like if you're going for something that is 1080 pixels on the long edge and you put one pixel per inch, there's no way that you could create an image that is 1080 pixels along the long edge that is one pixel per inch. It just won't come out. So that one pixel per inch becomes a tag that gets applied to the JPEG. And that's why that JPEG looked identical to the 300 pixel per inch. So it, it's the same. But as soon as you resize the image to something other than pixels, this would be the same if I resized it to centimeters, then this resolution actually will affect the exported JPEG. All right. So I hope that helps you better understand uh, this whole deal. The bottom line is if you're exporting an image and you're resizing it in pixels, you don't have to worry about what the resolution is as long as you're sharing it online. Even if you are exporting and you're going to end up printing it down the line, it really doesn't matter because whatever um, application you're using to do the printing, let's say it's Photoshop, or even if you send it to a print lab, it's going to get resampled. They're not going to print it at one pixel per inch. And Photoshop won't even... I did experiments. I'm not going to take the time. But I did print my images... Uh, test images at one pixel per inch that weren't resized or resized into pixels uh, on the long edge. I printed those and they printed fine. So Photoshop's not that dumb that it's going to try to uh, give it a one pixel per inch um, resolution when it prints. It's going to make sure that it's resampled and it's printing properly and the lab is going to be the same way. So as long as you're resizing in pixels, your output file will look fine. It's going to be similar size to whether you had it at 360 pixels per inch or one pixel per inch. 
It's going to be the same physical size on your hard drive, the same dimensions that you exported it at. Where it will change is when you actually resize it into centimeters or inches. Then that pixel per inch number matters. All right? So um, the bottom line, I guess, is if you're exporting an image, um, export in pixels and then your resolution won't really matter, all right? Um, that's more right than the way I was teaching it prior. And I think what I demonstrated is more right than what a lot of those articles said because the articles never mentioned resizing in inches or centimeters and what happens to the resolution when you do that. So that's it. I want to put this uh, to rest. Comments below. Um, I'm sure I'm not 100% right on everything I said because I'm not... Uh, referencing like uh, a scientific journal article or anything like that. I'm just uh, giving you my personal experience and demoing my personal experience as best I can. So anyone want to fill in any gaps, please feel free because I'd like to learn all the little details because trust me, when you're teaching a subject like photography, you get every question imaginable and I like to have the answers. Uh, so thank you everyone that helps me out on this and thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.